Up is Pixar's 10th feature film and presents to audiences the surly Carl Fredrickson and the eager beaver Boy Scout Russell on their adventure to the magical Paradise Falls in a, that's right, a floating house held by helium balloons. Our team of Mythbusters couldn't resist busting this myth when we came across it. Can a house be actually lifted by helium balloons? And if so, how many? Our team of Mythbusters went to their secret laboratory to begin their work. Now, to calculate the amount of force a balloon can exert, we have made this spring scale. So the way this works is using simple harmonic motion and Hooke's law. By seeing how much the balloons can displace the spring, we can calculate the amount of force that a balloon exerts. Ta-da! Bring in the balloons! Hey, Angelica, how many balloons do you have here? I have 14 balloons here, Craig. Now let's just attach them to the spring scale. And we can see that the spring scale has been displaced <laughs> approximately... One millimeter. Our spring scale works on the principles of simple harmonic motion as well as Hooke's law. What is simple harmonic motion? Simple harmonic motion is when any system exerts a force that is proportional to its displacement. This can be represented by Hooke's law, where the restoring force is equal to the spring constant times the displacement. Now the restoring force is the amount of force needed to extend in our case, the spring, a certain amount of distance, and the force that is required to bring it back to its original shape. The spring constant is different for every kind of spring. Uh, this all depends on the length of, of the spring and the amount of coils and the material it's made of, and we determined our spring to have a K constant of 490.5 newton meters. Now, here, we have a diagram of our spring scale. This is the spring scale and in its original state. Now, when we add the party balloons filled with helium to the spring scale, the party balloons exert a force that stretch the spring an X amount of distance. This X amount of distance enables, enables us to calculate the amount of force that these balloons exert on the spring. So now, we have enough information for our calculations. So, using FR is equal to KX, knowing that our spring constant is about 490.5 newton meters, times the displacement, which was 0 0.001 meters, or about one millimeter, we get that 14 balloons exert about 0.4905 newtons of force, which is about 3.5 times 10 to the negative two newtons per balloon. Now, using our F is equal to mg formula, if our house weighs about 70,000 kilograms, times that by the force of gravity, and you get about 689,000 newtons to lift the house. Now, if 14 balloons exert a force of 0.49 newtons, so about half a newton, how many balloons will be required to lift the entire house? And cross multiplying, we get the simple answer of a whopping 20 million party balloons. So, we've concluded that to lift the house, you'll need approximately 20 million balloons. So, what do you think, guys? Myth busted! Special thanks to Maria! Yay! Here's our videographer, Sylita. Thanks so much for your help.